I hope you're ready. It's going to be an awesome, awesome morning together. But I think we got to start off with some spontaneous testimony. How, how do you like that? Anyone else like spontaneous testimony? It wasn't planned this morning, but I felt like we needed to do it. It was too good of a thing not to do. And uh, we have someone who's been persevering in the Bay Barry County Jail. And uh, they have been working there and going there doing Discovery Bible studies. And, and um, But she has had uh, less and less people show up. Sometimes nobody show up. You invite people to go in, you want to minister to people, and, and no one shows up. And, and that's never a, a good experience, right? And you learn to persevere, and, and you learned about perseverance last week right here in this place. What it means to persevere, persevere and press through. Well, um, I want to invite Ruth up because she can share a little bit about that, and then she's going to share about what happened uh, this week in the Barry County Jail in the women's pod. Thank you. So um, we've been going into the jail for over 18 months, and we've seen some real fruitfulness. Um, and, uh, but the last couple of months has been exceedingly difficult. Uh, preparing and other people come in with me uh, from the team. Joyce comes in. And um, you turn up and, you, you know, you can't make them come through. Uh, and we've been having like one or two. And I was a bit disgruntled about that and prayed. And the Lord was like, well, will you just go for one? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, and I went through a season. We went through a season of just one. And then we had a couple of weeks and there was no one. And that's, you know, it's my happy place. It's where I feel alive and where I feel I serve the Lord. And uh, it's been really tough to prepare for no one. And it was a test, I'm sure, of perseverance and to keep going and drive there and turn up. And on Thursday, National Day of Prayer, um, Alison and Peggy were praying with me around Hastings and we obviously prayed for the jail and they prayed me up and sent me in. And uh, we've been having two uh, for the last couple of weeks, like two weeks. And uh, so I thought, well, at least I'll get two. <laughs> and uh, those girls came through and the door stayed open. And seven girls came. That's the whole pod. I've never had that. <laughs> and uh, I just thought, well, you ain't going until you get the gospel because I might see you again. <laughs> and not on my watch. And I was teaching about prayer. And uh, so I was teaching about the Lord's Prayer. And it starts off with his character, Our Father. And so I started to tell them about the garden. And the father wanted us in relationship with him, but they did what they shouldn't have done, uh, which is sin. And God is so holy, the father had to ask them to leave the garden. But his heart is, for God so loved the world, he sent his son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. God did not send the son to condemn, but to rescue us back. That's his character. So I was able to share that with them and lead them through the gospel and how God moved to buy them back to take their sin and their shame. And so they knew what they were being saved from, but what they were being saved to is being a child of God, a woman with a purpose for his kingdom, and it's good. And, you know, when you go in and you have this message to say and no one's there, it's hard. So when you get them, you can't wait to tell them the goodness of God. Mm. And uh, I decided to do the, uh, the prayer of salvation. So I read it to them. You know, I want you to know what you're getting into. This is serious. And then I said, if you'd like to say that, I'm going to say it line by line again. And you say it out loud. And then I asked them to stand. See, the Lord went to Calvary publicly, and we have to stand for Jesus publicly. And one girl stood. Brilliant, hallelujah. Boom, 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 boom. All seven stood for the Lord. Yeah. 
So good. And we were people pray and we prayed over them and it was a great time. And we're in there this afternoon, so please pray for us. But yeah. keep going. 